Dr. Howarth Buis of the United States pioneered the implementation of a multi-institutional approach to biofortification as a global plant breeding strategy and founded a new organization within an international research center to pursue this objective. As a result of his leadership, crops such as iron and zinc fortified beans, rice, wheat, and pearl millet, and vitamin A enriched cassava, maize, and sweet potatoes are today being tested or have been released in over 40 countries worldwide. I often like to go through a little bit of history and remind everybody kind of what we've been through. I actually visited nine CGIR centers in 1993 and almost universally the scientists told me you know, they didn't like the idea. They indicated that this was something that I should probably, an idea that I should probably drop. So I want to tell you that we're working on many crops around the world. After 10 years of doing the breeding and doing the nutritional tests and showing that we can improve uh, mineral and vitamin status, uh, we finally can see the reality of biofortified crops. I was at a cooperative growing high iron beans in Rwanda last August. And it was so exciting for me, because we've been working on this for so long, to go into the warehouse and to see these high stacks of sacks of high iron beans with the Harvest Plus logo saying, you know, high iron beans. And uh, that, was, that was very gratifying for me to see that finally, the reality of it. So congratulations to our laureates. You have proven that science matters and that when matched with dedication, it can change people's lives. By 2020, the zero hunger target, which includes the end of malnutrition, will be achieved. If it is achieved, it will be largely because biofortification would have played a dominant role. He has shared with us his vision every time we've interacted. That, I think, should be our motivation to carry his flag and to carry his torch, to, 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 to bring to reality that walking to Zambia 10 years from now, uh, maize should be known as, as orange. Going to Nigeria 10 years from now, cassava should be known to be yellow. That is what we, all of us should live for.